Are you going places or left behind without a travel companion? Listen to how you can travel more independently. Dr. Mary Travelbest will bring you the best tips and her travel mistakes so you can benefit. Welcome to Dr. Mary Travelbest's Independent Travel Guide. This is for women who travel, who want to travel, and especially for those who want to travel independently. In this episode, the FAQ is on points versus miles for a credit card. And the destination is California Beaches, part two. The lesson learned is cutting out the sinus infections. And the tip is when to visit the Eiffel Tower. So here's the FAQ you asked me. What's the difference between points and miles on a credit card reward? Answer, there's very little difference between points and miles. Points are just another way to accrue loyalty for travel companies. They may call them miles, but all in all, the mileage may vary. The companies can change the rules anytime they want. So now is a good time to use your miles if you've been storing them. Don't let them disappear. You can often give them as a gift to someone else too. Most of the credit cards that let you earn points have a fee and restrictions. So be sure to read the fine print before you buy. So there's not much difference between points and miles. Be careful when you compare the cost of a flight and how many points you need to redeem for that same flight. You may be surprised at the low value of your points. There'll be more on this in the show notes. Today's episode it's about California beaches, and we're going to take you from Carlsbad to Camp Pendleton. So we started in the south near the border, especially the Coronado, where we headed north and ended at Carlsbad. So we're going to pick up here. We're going to head on going north all the way to Camp Pendleton and the beaches in between, which are all free to visit. But are some still closed? Check before you travel. I'll tell you my favorite places to visit, and you can share your favorites in the Dr. Mary Travel Best social media channels. This is part two, and since there's so much beach to cover, we're going to go all the way to four. So there are some shark sightings from time to time, and you should also watch out for stingrays and enjoy seasonally watching for the whales from shore. Let's talk about South Ponto Beach. It's a wide undeveloped area along Coast Highway 101. The Batiquitos Lagoon is on the other side of the highway, and there are public restrooms and showers here. You can swim, surf, sunbathe, and play beach volleyball with your own net. The sunsets are spectacular, and so you're just north of Lucadia, where the bluffs end. There is some pay and some free parking if you arrive at the right time of day, and it's open from 6 a.m. till 10 p.m. Then the South Carlsbad State Beach and Carlsbad State Beach, also known as Tamarack Surf Beach. That goes from Tamarack Avenue to Frazee Beach near Carlsbad Village Drive. This is a good beach for singles, independent women like you who want to swim, surf, scuba dive, kayak, windsurf, fish, or just walk on the shore. You will see fishing and camping nearby too. Your California State Park Explorer Pass will allow you admission at South Carlsbad State Beach and Carlsbad State Beach and several other beaches along the coast. I've taken great walks along the paved path, the Carlsbad Seawall. It's about four miles long. And along there, you'll see joggers, rollerbladers, bike cruisers, and great sunsets. The next beach we'll cover is Oceanside. I really like this beach. It's got a beautiful harbor and it's really a pretty nice beach. You can do surfing and volleyball here too. You might even see a surfing competition. I saw one while I was walking along the pier and it's really worth walking along if you can. You'll see fishermen who have permits. I've also been swimming in this beach and it's kind of a nice little beach, breakwater way. It's a kind of a quiet family beach along the south of Oceanside Harbor. So you can walk along the frontage path or bike here. I've had some nice meals along the pier too. Parking could be at a premium. So you may need to walk a few blocks and feed the meters. 
On weekends, you may be able to find good free parking at the Oceanside Transit Station, just a few blocks from the beach. Now, also, there's the Oceanside Harbor right by the beach with many amenities like the Marina Inn Hotel and lots of shops. Now let's move up to Camp Pendleton. It's the next beach in our tour. It may be restricted, so be advised. There is camping here and reservations favor those in active duty, reservists, and retired military. The show notes have the reservation information for these beaches called Del Mar and San Onofre beachfronts. In part three, we're going to cover Orange County beaches, including San Clemente, Dana Point, and Huntington Beach, plus Santa Monica and others in Los Angeles. And in part four, we'll talk about beaches up to Santa Barbara. Today's lesson is about sinus infections. Look out for them. They can drain your health and put you down for the count when you travel. So how come I get them so often when I travel? I think it's because I wear myself down and then I become a target for the germs. I don't drink enough water. I stay up too late and then I pay the price. So this year I'm making a pact not to get these anymore. I'm taking a small pink pill that is a preventative measure daily. It's over the counter and it's not harmful. It's basically giving me some protection against the pollen. Today's travel advice is Paris, France and the Eiffel Tower. Once we can travel again, here's a tip. See the Eiffel Tower at night. We went at 11 p.m. and that was spectacular. There were not a lot of crowds on the street. Do get your tickets in advance, of course. And if you happen to be there on June 21st, enjoy the festival of music scattered all over the city in small neighborhoods. I'd highly recommend that. Today, I want to bring meaning to your travel. So send me your travel tip. You can send it to my website, Facebook page, group, or Instagram. You can send it to my Twitter blog, and maybe you'll see your tips in my next travel book on independent destinations. What's on your bucket list? What's on your travel bucket list? Tell the doctor and her team of women who travel the world seeking the very best. Dr. Travel Best, that is.